Hey there, Stash Weisslouch here. Welcome to Quick Tips. Today I want to propose a structured exercise. Play your half note skeletons of a melody on one string. This is a fantastic way to practice moving a fiddle tune up and down the neck horizontally as opposed to vertically. If you don't know what I mean by skeletalizing a fiddle tune, reference Quick Tip number 64. The basic idea is you learn the eighth note melody, the regular fiddle tune as you know it off of a recording. Then you take out every other note, it becomes a quarter note skeleton. And now to make it a half note skeleton, you take out every other quarter note. So here we have the eighth note version of the Red Haired Boy, for example, which I'm playing at capo two. I'm just gonna play an A and B part, not two A's and two B's for the sake of brevity. One, two, three, four. <laughs> note skeleton of that would sound like this one two three four now that's all in open position what I want to propose here is to play the whole skeleton on one string at a time as an exercise to get you to really get inside the melody and know these fence post skeletal notes and move around horizontally on the neck as opposed to our usual vertical position thinking. Here's an example of doing it just on the D string. One, two, three, four. part interesting so one thing I notice is on one string the full range of the skeletal melody cannot be encompassed I set up the parameter that I'm not going to go beyond the 14th fret relative to the nut so for example that first phrase is E A E D well, I'd be fine playing that second E, the third note in the skeletal melody, in the same octave. E, A, E, D. Or a similar kind of problem solving, that kind of situation. You know, on the B part, we start on a G note. G, E, F sharp, D. We have to jump up to grab that note if we're going to stick on one string. This is cumbersome, but I think it's a great structural exercise to ensure that you really know the inside and outs of a particular fiddle tune and don't just know it by muscle memory. Try it out on a different string. Say, for example, the B string. One, two, three, four. To make it simpler, you could use just one finger, your first finger. If you like this lesson video, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon page. Now, whatever fiddle tune you're doing this to, make sure you also have a practice of just loosely playing the tune. This kind of thing may or may not get into your playing immediately. Chances are it will not. And maybe in a year from now or six months from now, you'll say, oh, good thing I spent that week practicing skeletal fiddle tunes on one string, because now, Somewhere in there, I've logged a certain knowledge about the red-haired boy that I wouldn't have if I just played the same version over and over again with the hopes of improvising. To get supplemental materials, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon page. 
I teach private lessons online. Please feel free to reach out and we can book a lesson package. And if you're interested in keeping up with my tour schedule, consider becoming a part of my mailing list. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.